seat between Senator McConnell and myself. Uh, someone who's literally been there 30 years, part of uh, the reason we have the mess in Washington that we do, the gridlock, obstruction, and partisanship, it has severe consequences. Unfortunately, consequences that Senator McConnell wouldn't even acknowledge. As he said, the lapse in the farm bill, to his knowledge, hadn't disadvantaged anyone. I know otherwise, and so do the farmers and farm families across Kentucky. They're ready for a senator who will actually show up at the Agriculture Committee meetings, not one that has missed nearly every meeting for the past three years when it comes to the Agriculture Committee meeting. They're ready for a senator that will actually speak up for our farmers and farm families. And most importantly, they're ready for a senator that will actually stand up uh, for our farmers and be in favor of growing the middle class. Today, uh, you saw a senator of the past versus a senator of the future. A senator who is entrenched in the Washington, D.C. establishment is so out of touch with the farmers here in Kentucky to realize that the lapse in the farm bill have a ne had a negative impact. You saw two completely different visions. One that believes things are okay as they are, and another that knows Kentucky can't afford six more years of Mitch McConnell. Together, the folks all across the Commonwealth of Kentucky, including our farmers and farm families, we will help to make sure women get equal pay for equal work, that we are supporting our farm uh, families, our veterans across this state, and growing the middle class together.